Okay, let's see if that uh, is better. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, we went to the Terrafinium house. Let's just uh, keep going on our rounds here. Some of these are just mines. Um, uh, oh, and Mamuruski looks like she left to go lurk. Thank you, my friend. Do you see her cute, this cute little lurk emote she made me? That's a new one I just uploaded. I love that one. I'm going to try that. Uh, I'm going to try that parrot. I uh, I thought I was thought it was crazy that you couldn't set those building walls the way that you wanted them to be. So I'm happy to know there's a choice. I think I kind of remember seeing that now. I just didn't put it together. So this is an underwater base. See, we're under the water. But I put my mining stuff in here so I didn't drown when I came out. So I just have to run here and grab and go. I didn't even make a living room. I have another underwater one that I made a little living room so I could... I think it's this one. After this one, we'll just go to the one that have the ones that have bases. Because I'm sure this part is boring. <laughs> So, <laughs> I don't want y'all to have to sit through that. We'll go to uh, my farm is pretty cool, and then we'll have an update on the resort. Oh, that's right. I made some changes at the resort. It looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Just made a couple of little changes, so I could do the mine there a little bit more easily. Okay, here's another underwater one. This one, I put a little, a little living room so that I could come hang out and watch the world go by out there. This is a tiny little underwater base, but I like it. I can hang out in it. Oh, nice! That's so cool! That, I'm sure that made you feel really good. Alright, let's see. Let's go to... Where is another? I guess so. All right, we're going to go to the farm because there's actually a uh, there's actually a base there. This is my my plant farm, which is not just nip nip. Let me just say it's not all nip nip. <laughs> it's nip nip and uh, venom sacks and some frost crystal. This is what I have growing there now. This was a sort of him from the No Man's Sky. Hey. Dan, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Oh, that's cool, Laurie. My freighter, I don't know if, I've, if you've been on when I've shown my freighter. My plant thing on the freighter is kind of bad, really. It's not, I've got to work on it. So this is my farm. So I did like multiple layers of, of biodomes is what I did. Whoops. I hope you had a good day at work today. Not too terrible. Let me come out here so you can see it. It's actually, hold on, let me do the, let me do the camera-y thing. So it's not huge, but I got uh, eight, ten, uh, ten domes. And my little farmer down there. And a couple of landing pads. And then the one in the front is, uh, we'll run in there in a minute. The run in the front is a little, like a little seating area. Hey, Griff, how are you doing? Good to see you. We are just harvesting. Oh, nice. That's good. That makes a huge difference. In this hot summer, or most of us, or a lot of us are having. Thank you. This, this was a kind of a collaborative, well, it was a collaborative base. So I had this little base. This was one of my first bases, one of my early bases. Um, and it was real small, and it was down. Hey, Mark Lar, come in, come in. Welcome in, Raiders, welcome in. Mark Lar was playing Fortnite today. Uh, it was lots of fun. 
Thank you, thank you for coming in, you guys. <laughs> we don't want you to do that. Don't be, don't be saying that, man. We are busy on our, on our farm. We don't want anything messed up here. How was your stream? I was l watching, lurking over there. You guys are watching me harvest my nip nip here. Truth is coming out. So I always have to sell it real quick before I go out so I won't get into trouble. Doing great. Your stream was so fun. I was I was glad that I caught it. Let me run around here and I'll show you my living room. And then we're going to go divest ourselves of our, of our um, illegal substances before we leave. So I made this like a lot of my... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my bases where I mostly am on the, thinking about the view so I can sit out here and watch the world if it were daytime you could see it was prettier oh so I started to say so this was an early base and then um, Things Wicked came in and did a bunch of stuff and showed me a bunch of stuff and then I kind of changed some things around and it really number one opened my eyes to what I could do and it got my whole base out of the ground back here. So when this all grows back, yeah, when this all grows back, now it won't matter. Everything was down there in that part where I flattened everything. And then I learned about things growing back. So then I have my little farmer in here. Yeah, so he made those for me. And I was going to have him make more. But then I learned about the trick with the freighter. And so I don't really need them anymore, but they, um, but they look cool. So I kept them. Let's see what he wants. We'll call the freighter over so we can collect it. Let me get my freighter coming. Whoops. Did it show up? I think it's here. There it is. Okay. So what does he want? What do you want, buddy? Oh, maybe I had it already. I didn't even have to get it out of my freighter. Uh, let's see. What is it? Oh, more that? Yeah, because we just picked it from upstairs. That was good timing. You're welcome. You're welcome, little farmer dude. All my other guys are on my freighter, but I kept my farmer down here because it's my farm. And then I put a trade terminal so I can quickly sell all my nip nip so I don't get in trouble before I leave. We're going to sell our skeleton fragments that we just picked up, too. That cost us so much grief. Uh, yeah, we're going to sell all these. Down with the skeleton. That was a bad memory, the way that came down, the way that shook out. <laughs> uh, it is so great. I love this game. Get rid of our nip-nip and get rid of our new thing, this guy, right? So let me show you guys in case you don't know. Okay, I'm sure most of you probably do because most of you are No Man's Sky players. But I was just saying this thing about the storage. So... I'm leaving these, I'm keeping them because they look cool, but if you have a freighter and you have all your storage in your freighter, once you call your freighter into your, you call your freighter where you are, then you can um, just go to your freighter and all your storage containers are available to you. So you don't really need storage containers anymore once you have them on the freighter. You just pull it, you just pull your freighter in and there you have all your storage. No worries, Marklar. You have been streaming for a long time. I appreciate you so much. I didn't even make my little spiel. For those of you that haven't been here before, I stream indie games in the morning at 7.30 a.m. Central. We're playing Limbo right now. And I stream big games in the afternoon. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. What did you... Yeah, Lori. So, it's in this little calling menu. Summon vehicles, and then you'll see it as your freighter. Anywhere you are, if your freighter's equipped, you can call it right to you, and and you can have access to your inventory without even... Um, I think you got a shout-out, Marklar, but let me give you another one. If I can't remember if 
Maruski gave you a shout out before she left. There you go. Um, yeah, so you have access to your inventory, so you don't really need storage. I keep them at my at my uh, mines because it's quicker. But uh, yeah. Anyway, how cool is that? Yeah, so don't listen to Parrot because that is a little bit dicey. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do that. So how cool is that? All right, let's go to um, let's go to the resort, and then we'll go have a new. I gotta check to see how many salvage forget. Oh, I am full up on those. I've used all my. I've bought everything I can buy, and I just keep getting them. <laughs> Will you do that, Parrot? I am not going to uh, be doing that myself. So now we're going to go to my resort. This was my really big build that I've been working on. Jumping off the, the freighter. I mean, jumping off the... Yeah, jumping off the freighter. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I might travel with Nip Nip in my pocket, but I am not jumping off the freighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> you just saw me barely able to climb up a hill. Although now that I've gotten rid of my jump boots, uh, maybe I won't have that problem anywhere. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so... Oh, why is it dark everywhere? For heaven's sakes, I want it to be day. Alright, so you guys that haven't seen it before, this is my resort. So I'm going to walk you out here so I can give you the whole tour. Flying Dragon Lake Resort. So we have um, we have our we have a private landing pad for each of our uh, villas. Uh, we have uh, all we grow all organic food here for our restaurant. This little building over here is our employee. Uh, it's a workspace. Wait, not this building. This building. It's a workspace for our employees. So they can work, but also we give them, whoops, I can't even walk in a straight line. We also give them um, a little place to hang out, and they have a good view, too. So this is their little room. And then you either teleport in or fly in, and you come right here to the teleportation lounge, which this little building was my very first base. And it has morphed into something else, but I was really glad I got to keep it. My very first base in the game. So you teleport in here, and then you get in your little teleporter, and you arrive at reception, where we check you in. And then you can have a free cocktail. And... <laughs> and hang out in our lounge, and uh, all that stuff. And our restaurant, you can see we have outdoor seating all the way around our patio and then we have five casitas all separately furnished with beautiful views let me give you the let me give you the camera view here of this one whoops i'm inside come out fly out here Whoops, go down. Okay, so this is my um, Flying Dragon Resort. I've got five little personal casitas. This one up here... Oh, that's good to know, Parrot. This one up here has... Uh, let me see. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ugh. This one up here has private tubs where you can sit in your tub and look out over the beautiful Flying Dragon Lake. Some of you guys have seen all this before, so <laughs> you're having to watch it again, sorry. And then we also have here at the resort, whoops, go back out. We also have down here at the lake itself. It's a long way, but you're welcome to come down here. Yeah, people in tubs. Well, you know, it's we do a lot of honeymoon business, so there's that. 
So down here we have a little platform for scuba diving and kayaking. And we have one villa that is under the water. Whoops, whoops, I fell off the stairs. Doesn't really help my sales pitch if I can't walk in a straight line. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing either. Thank you, I really like that too. And then they have lights so that you can see in the dark. I like how that looks a lot. That's how that started. I was trying to find a way to light the walk because it was really dark at night. And that long stairway was, it was so dark. And I think that worked out really well. Okay, and then we have one underwater villa that is accessible by DNA scan. Oh, down here in Flying Dragon Lake. Two bedrooms. Hey, Lucy, how are you? You guys, Lucy was streaming. I'm sorry, I didn't see you come in. Lucy was streaming uh, Dragon Age Inquisition today. She finished the story. So emotional. Such a great game. Oh, no. What the heck? Where did that thing come from? I swear I did not chop that down. It just sprouted there. Man, that's not good. We'll have to get the groundsman down here to take that out. Oh, did you, Lucy? So you're going to just play the whole thing again? She did the DLCs. Uh, hello, Dr. Dr. Blood, can I call you that? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. And here is the living room of this of this one. So this is our Flying Dragon Lake Resort. Only one million you a week, or if you want this big one, uh, it is two, it is uh, two million a week. All right, but we need to, is there even a way for me to get, did I leave myself a door? Oh yeah, here we go. We have to do a little maintenance here. I don't know where the heck this thing came from. I think my grounds crew needs a little, a little talking to. That's better. So Lucy, are you going to play the whole game? Just play the same the game again? Look at the stairs from underwater. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I know, right? That guy was slacking. Let that plant grow up there. For heaven's sakes. Usually we're a little more on the ball. It does look pretty at night. I played that. I played that game on stream myself and it was uh and it was uh it was awesome yeah we were as as lucy's game was ending today we were sort of talking about the different things that happen and the different things that you do depending on how, what you how you choose to play uh how to how you choose to play it it's always interesting to watch someone else play a game where you can uh customize it so much anyway that's my big resort very happy with it. I always like my newest base the best, so right now I'm all about my Santa Fe house, but I really like this one. Uh, okay, what are we going to do now? I need to... I think we need to do some missions. Where's my ship? Let's go up to the space station. Oh, and this is the mining. I have a mine here, actually, so I can come up here and then go in this one and collect my uh, whatever I have on mining down here, my paraffinium. Decided on a female elven rogue. I think I told you I played as rogue, but I played as human rogue. But I, if I played it again, I'd play as warrior, probably. All right, and now we're going to go back down here and get out. The first person I saw play that game, um, his name is, he goes by TKN7 Insanity. And uh, he and I were playing it at the same time. 
And he really liked the Sarah character, too. I did not like her very much, I have to say. And I didn't use her very much. Okay, we're going to go to the space station. <laughs> she is funny. That is true. And pick up some mission. Yeah, I liked Cass a lot, too. Cass and Iron Bull and uh, Blackwall were my favorites. Sorry, you guys that don't play Dragon Age Inquisition and don't know what we're talking about. Uh, it's a very cool narrative Bioware game. Very cool. All right, we're going to go pick up some missions. In my last stream, I made it through the center of the galaxy, and I'm on uh, I'm in Hilbert Galaxy now, and I do want to cruise around over there a little bit, but uh, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for over there. Yeah, if you liked Parrot, if you like those kind of games like Mass Effect, it's the same company that made Mass Effect. Any of those kind of narrative games where your choices make real differences, um, it's pretty good. You fell off a planet? Okay, Lucy, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the raid, you guys. For those of you that just came in, I stream um, indie games in the mornings at 7.30 a.m. Central. And then big games in the afternoon at 4. So right now I'm alternating between this game and um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate in the afternoon. And I'm playing uh, Limbo in the morning. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I've lost track of myself now. Oh, I think I just saw a trade good we can sell. We came up here to get some missions, not to goof off. Oh, no, that's my star silk. I'm not selling that. Yes, Parrot, we should. I'd be happy to to, uh, to uh, try a multiplayer. I, I would like a multiplayer with someone who also plays PS5. See if that goes a little bit more smoothly. All right, let's see if... Um, well, let's pick up some missions. Wait a minute. I want to check my catalog. So what I'm working on now... <laughs> no worries. Dr. Blood, thank you so much for uh, for hanging out. What I'm working on now is trying to get these milestones. So I need two more Corvax missions uh, to get uh, to level up in this. And then I'm also working on my guild missions. So I need a bunch. I still need nine more of these. I haven't seen... Um, Where are you, uh, Dr. Blood? I'm wondering because I'm in Texas and it's uh, that hot here easily. This game is, uh, yeah, it can be pretty addictive, I have to say. Uh, yeah, Texas is too. I'm sure it's the same big giant heat wave. We're all in the news about it right now. Parrot, yeah. Uh, you know, I can sort of wander away from it a little bit, but then I just keep coming back to it. All right, merchants, let's see what missions he has to give us, and we'll go fight some pirates. 102. I think we were supposed to be 99 here today. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's miserable. Thank goodness for air conditioning. In the UK, they've been having a lot of heat, and uh, they don't have any air conditioning. Oh, look at this. I can get five HODL cores for, um, wait, what? I keep going by to Limbo, to be honest. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm retired, so I can sit in the air conditioning all day, so nobody has to feel bad for me right now. Okay, this is a good one. I don't care about feeding the animals. Uh, to the game limbo or you mean you're leaving and going back to limbo <laughs> to hang out in limbo uh, this is explorers guild these are kind of dumb but we'll do it anyway there's no pirates I want to go fight pirates 
This is a good fighting one. We'll just take all his missions. Yeah, I, I, you know, you kind of lean into it. It's really a sandbox game, and you can play it any way you want to play it. But it is, it, there is a lot to it. I like to fight, and I like to, um... Kill one. I already have this mission. All right, let's just see. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sort of trying to read chat and playing, and it's kind of making my t my chatter confusing. Lots of water and Gatorade. I would imagine some days that doesn't really seem like enough, does it? <laughs> Thirty-nine hundred and fifty hours, parrot. Wow, I've got just about three hundred hours. So in this game, that's really newbie time. But I'm I'm starting to get the swing of it. Yeah, all right, exactly. For some Gatorade, who wouldn't want to be out working in the heat? There are these guys over here painting the garage, and they are this pretty old couple. And I'm I just feel bad for them out there. Like I think they're having a heat stroke. 10 hours in this game well dr blood that is not enough i always tell people to hang in it gets better <laughs> all right we're gonna go fight we're gonna go raid a planetary depot really if i'm gonna fight pirates i should switch to my living ship anyway it's a better fighter than this one is thank you this is, uh, this was a Twitch drop ship, and I really like it. I think it's really pretty. Wow, I hate to be stirring up the Sentinels on a planet where I have bases. I'm afraid they might retaliate against me. No, we're not going down there. We're not going down there to the resort. Stop pointing at that, pl that base. Go over here. Oh, wow, those are such... Yeah, you said you were playing those, Parrot. Are you loving them? You're playing Forbidden West right now, right? I haven't bought the um, DLC yet. The new one. But I shall. I might... I'm trying to decide if I want to call my... Um, call my Exocraft, my Minotaur, over for this fight. I do so love to fight sentinels in my Minotaur. Dr. Blood, thank you so much for coming in. I sure appreciate it, and I appreciate the lurk. I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'm just really sorry about the heat and that you're having to work out in it. Oh, such great game, Dan. Such a great game. All right, I kind of want to just fly around and look for it, but I'm afraid I won't be able to see it. PlayStation. It's going to make me run around. That's all right. No worries. We can do it. Then we're going to fight some sentinels. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. All right, we can land down here. Come on, you can land here. I just crashed into the trees. You know what? So I have, I have PSP as well. And this morning we were supposed to start this game Witchwood on my indie show. I just got it two weeks ago. And uh, between then and two minutes before my stream started this morning, they took that game off the PSP list. And so at the last moment I was floundering around trying to figure out what to play. And that was a little bit annoying. My own fault for not checking, but uh, yeah, I didn't expect that to have happened. All right, I got to health myself up before we get started. Hey, see, you did, but it's probably running better now, huh? I'm guessing. It was it was pretty rough, I have to say. It didn't really work out very well. Uh, yeah, you didn't really miss much. It was a lot of us floundering around trying to make it work. The other people in the chat can tell you. I'm glad you came back. I was like, oh, now I want to ping you and tell you to come again, that we stopped it. <laughs> and now we're going to go fight some sentinels. Technology 
I have not played those Far Cry games. See, uh, CNCNZ, who just jumped in, she's played every game, so I'm sure she can opine on Far Cry. I have not played those. All right, we're going to get our shooter out. We're going to see if we can do this without our Minotaur. The Minotaur is fun, but it's actually a little quicker to do it without the Minotaur. You're a kryptonite, huh? <laughs> Ooh, uh, Dan, did you play Days Gone? That was an awesome game. Oh! Days Gone was such a good game. Oh my goodness. So much for coming in. You're playing No Man's Sky? That's awesome. Oh, it is a good one. If you like a zombie game, Dan, put that one on your list. It is so much fun. Such a good game. We are just about to blow up this um, de depot here, and then we're going to run for it. Look, we're doing a little slidey downy business here. Boop! All right, first we got to do all this stuff before they. Uh... Yeah, it's great. It is really a good game. I played that on stream um, not that long ago, it doesn't seem like. So, see, you're playing Subnautica, huh? I haven't played that game either. People keep telling me about it, but I haven't played it yet because I'm a little phobic about dying underwater, drowning as a, in video games, and so I'm a little bit afraid to play it. Yeah, and then report back because, yeah, it is such a good game. It's hard to believe that anyone wouldn't love it, and certainly someone who likes zombie games that you wouldn't love it because it is great. We're going to collect all this stuff before the, uh, before the Sentinels get aggroed. See, I was talking about you. I was saying I didn't have much experience with multiplayer games and that we had been playing, um... Um, a regular multiplayer game, but that right now we're we're trying to find a new game to play. Ooh, Silent Hill. I don't know about the sc scary, about the scary games. All right, here we go. Let's see. We're gonna shoot. We're gonna run. Oh no. I don't think we got them all. Did we get that one? Oh no, I lost count. But now I'm gonna be in trouble. Run away. Oh, there's one I missed. Oh shoot. That's not good. I messed up my pattern. Now I don't know which one I don't I didn't get. And now the sentinels are on me. Shoot! I think it's this one that was behind all this floating stuff. Yeah, it's that one. Okay! Now I gotta run! I used to make a big thing out of this, but I gotta say, if you just run away, you can usually get away from them. <laughs> so it's not as scary anymore. Uh, uh, Horizon didn't... Oh, Dan, you're saying, which? what game did you, did you delete? Okay, we're running for it until they stop uh, searching for us. I think they're going to just give up. Yep, that's it. Not as exciting as it used to be when I... Uh, Okay, now I'm trying to catch up with, uh, stay, catch up with chat. Oh, see, saying it was a slow start. Oh my gosh, such a good game. So fun. I agree with that. It was kind of like a lot of games. You know, I always, I always say, um, that, that you have to, oops, that you have to stick it out. That almost every game is like that. You know, it's hard when you don't know anything and you're not buffed up and all that. Oh, you know, a lot of, I think probably more people play it on PC than on, or at least that I know in the No Man's Sky community, play it on PC. But 
I don't have a PC, so this is all I have. Oh, man, Dead Parrot. <laughs> Playable. Oh, 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 I'm with you, Dan. The Silent Hill uh, demo. I am not about the creepy games, so... Although I say that, but now I've I've played quite a few. Okay, look, this is the same... Oh, that's interesting, Laurie. That's an interesting combo. What would the benefit be of playing it on PC but with a PlayStation controller? Hostile snares. Interesting. I was sort of thinking we might be double dipping on that one. We might get credit for both of those, but we couldn't. But I mean, then why not just play it on a um, on a console? I guess is what what I'm asking. If you like the controller better, is the game better on? Let's see, on PlayStation and P. Oh, I see. Okay. Because, oh well, that's a perfectly good reason. You're like me, but the opposite. I don't play on PC because I don't have one. And then a lot of people make comments like it's a, uh, like it's a, um, a natural progression to go from console to PC. But I like my console, and I'm not, not yearning for a PC to be able to game on PC. Oh. So now we're gonna, I think, maybe more or less do the exact same thing again. I'm not really sure what this mission is. Or how this mission is different than the one we just ran. This is such a pretty planet. Yeah, I've had one most of my life, but I don't have, I mean, I have a Mac. Uh, is what I have. I have a Mac, a MacBook Pro. Boop. All right, here we go. <gasps> Whoops! Fell right down this hole. Come on, go out, go out, go out, go out. <laughs> I did not see that that cave open up underneath me there. Back on track. Ah, Radio Shack. That's hilarious. That is a throwback. Yeah, you know, that is true. And like there's all there's all these games on Steam that I'd like to play that I can't play. So there there are definitely some some things about it. I don't really have a place to have one. You know, my laptop I can just throw around, but PC you kind of have to have a whole desk and everything. And I don't have the space for that. Your Xbox was in the trunk because you were toting it around? Hey, freaking Sentinels. I haven't even done anything yet, man. Where is this thing I'm supposed to be raiding? They're pretty unhappy, but I haven't actually done anything yet. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Oh. Look, they're shooting at me. It's not good to have them shooting you before you even saw what you were supposed to do. Where is it? I don't know where the depot is that I'm supposed to be raiding. <laughs> All right, we're going to deactivate them and then we're going to sneak back. Cuz uh they're all they're all aggroed, but I didn't see the depot. Yeah, and then sometimes it's the other way around, you know. Got uh we got we got uh we got our I wonder if it's over it wasn't over there. We do have, you know, our console exclusives. Oh, there it is, up in the sky up there. Well, for heaven's sakes, good heavens. wonder how we're going to take those down. Look at how they're just suspended in midair. 
I have to say, I have not seen that particular thing before. I wonder if I can shoot at him from up above. It's like I want to build a base just so I can build a uh, board to stand on so I can shoot down there. I don't know if I could shoot from all the way over here. I was going to say, Parrot, have you ever seen one like this before? I know I'm not going to be able to get all five of them, that's for sure, from up here. In fact, if there's four of them, one's in the wall and I'm not going to be able to get it. I know, right? How am I even going to do that? Oh, now we're going to have to run away again. That is crazy. When I saw that, I should have just abandoned the mission because that's clearly glitchy. <laughs> I don't think I have time to dig out the fourth one and take it out. That's hilarious. We might try that. Actually, because I have my shooter and my um, and my mining on different multi-tools, I would have to not just dig it out and then I would have to switch over to the other multi-tool and then, oh, I'm not sure I'm fast enough. We're gonna give it a go. Oh, three, there's two in the wall, two in the wall. All right, we're gonna try. I'm not gonna die over it, but, but we're gonna give it a go just for grins. Where did it go? Uh. Ooh, maybe we can even be sneaky and like do an un do a do a mold job. Look at this. We're gonna come in here and do it from behind. Wonder where the fifth one is. Hmm. This is a little bit awesome. Look, here's the thing that's supposed to be laying on the ground. <laughs> I don't want to dig a big, such a big hole that I fall through. Okay, I bet it's these two. <laughs> All right, let's see. That's hilarious. Lori, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for sticking with the uh, mess of the multiplayer, and I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. All right, maybe it wasn't that one. Look, now it's not giving me counts for these ones in here. Is it? Oh yeah, I guess it was. Okay, I got that one. And then what about this one? Hmm. Is it this one? I'm not detected. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they can't find me. They think they can find me, but they can't find me. Uh, let's go back to our, I'm like determined to solve this little problem here. I should just, oh, there it is. Oh no, I think I got that one already. Let's see. They can definitely see me from here. Oh, nice. Whoops. Okay, I think that's all five of them. Parrot. <laughs> You're kind of hard on your cars, I'm, I'm thinking. All right, that was pretty funny, you guys. We got out. We got them all. We dug them through. Now we just have to get out of here. We're gonna try to. We're gonna try to tunnel through. See if we can come out anywhere. I have to say, I've never seen that before. Oh. He's watching me. I think he found me. I better get my gun back out. J.I.C. So, Parrot, with your 3,950 hours, have you seen that before? I wonder if I have a Kill Sentinels mission. I like to double dip. All right, we're just going to run for it. Oh, no, now the dog's coming for us. We're just going to run away. 
see if we can get away. Okay, that was funny. I have never, well, I mean, as I say, I've only got about 300 hours in the game, but uh, that was hilarious. And I like the underground nature of getting those last two. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't chicken out and just give it up. That was funny. I thought it might give me a double dip on the first one since I had two, uh, two missions like that. All right, boom. Take that, Sentinels. I stole all your stuff. All right, now I like to do all of them before I go back to the before I go back to the mission agent. Then I have a whole pack to turn in. All right, let's get our ship. So I'm trying to level up my um, a number of my mechanics with only a foot or two grounded in the air. <laughs> So see, we started playing um, Limbo on the indie show this morning. Definitely fun. If you guys have, have played that game or not played that game, uh, a lot of fun. Creepy and cool and interesting and challenging. Yeah. I was going to play Witchwood. Someone had recommended Witchwood to me, and I was going to play that. Uh, but... Uh, PlayStation took it off the PlayStation list. And so at the last second, I had to find something else to play. Well, but Parrot, was that a base you built that grew over? I mean, because that's different. If it regrew, then, then that the game generated one that's sticking out of the side of a hill. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, I hadn't seen a, a game-generated one. All right, pirate fight, pirate fight. This is the best. Although this is not the best fighting ship, it'll definitely get the job done. Well, let them approach. We are gonna... Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, I, someone just recommended I mean, I probably bought it, or I didn't buy it. I, I got it like two weeks ago. And so it didn't occur to me to check it. And like two minutes before I was going on stream today, uh, I, I pulled it up, you know, to start streaming, and it was gone. But I had Limbo, so I decided to play that, and I'm really enjoying it. And I put Witchwood on my wish list because it looks really good, and I do want to play it. All right, let's get around this freighter. So we can fight this pirate. Where is he? Oh, come on, buddy. He's playing a little cat and mouse with me around the freighter. There he comes. Whoops, you don't want to hit a sentinel. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's, you know, somewhat, it's a little challenging, but in a good way. So, so the, uh, yeah, it, that exactly that. We've had a little challenge, but solved all the challenges, and it's it's pretty fun. And I have, uh, yeah, definitely disturbing. And I have inside, but I didn't want to play it until I played Limbo. So uh, we'll, oops, we have that on the list too. But anyway, very creepy, but very cool. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, when I got inside, I didn't know about Limbo. And then somebody in my chat was telling me that. Or no, it was Lab Pedro was telling me. And um, and Maruski had played it too. And so, and so then I wanted to play it first. And I think either, either it was on sale or it came up on PSP. And so I grabbed it. Very cool. Not Witchwood at all. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's see your freighter that wasn't able to defend itself. Uh, Witchwood or Limbo? I am enjoying Limbo, and I'm sure I will enjoy... Um, I'm sure I will enjoy Witchwood when I get to play it. 
It was also recommended to me by somebody. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely enjoying it. I just, like I said, we've had one session of it, but uh, very cool. Took me a mental minute to... I think I'm yelling, sorry you guys. I just realized the game was really loud. It took me a mental minute to go from um, thinking about playing the Witchwood characters to playing inside. <laughs> but after that, it was cool. All right, let's go see. Maruski C said she missed all our shenanigans. Next time, when we can do it better. You know what, I think I've got my my um, chat volume up is why I'm messing this up. Whoop. There we go. From us us playing. Oh, A-class freighter. Well, I already have an A-class freighter, and I like mine better than this one. So I don't want yours. And clearly you were not able to defend it. But I will, so I wouldn't want you as my commander. But I will take a reward. Thank you very much. Sorry, you guys, if I've been yelling into the mic. That I just realized the game was really loud. Okay, we're going to take payment instead. Eh, okay. I mean, I think you could have been a little more generous. <laughs> Nice! I didn't know you played this game, Rob. I thought you were a Call of Duty man yourself. Okay, let's go scan these, uh, scan these plants. Actually, I don't mind this style of freighter. This isn't too bad. If this was an S-Class, I would have taken it. I just don't like the ones that have those big turrets that stick right out the front that you have to avoid crashing into when you come out. That one's not bad at all. But we already have an S-Class freighter, so no reason to change. I do play, but No Man's Sky. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Sentinel freighters? I don't know. Oh, Sentinel. Yeah, I mean, I've blown up a Sentinel freighter. I don't. Can you get a Sentinel freighter? I didn't know you could. I'm what I'm really looking for is an S-class freighter that's the same as the freighter that I have, the same model. Ooh, look at this planet. These plants are pretty. All right, we got to scan some plants, and it looks like we got some nice ones here. Okay, so Parrot is just uh, harassing me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't like those. I like the shape of the one that I have a lot. But that one I just flew off of, that was a nice shape too. I would definitely go for that one in an S class. Whoops, we'll always take carbon, on carbon crystal because condensed carbon. Because I never have enough of it. Uh. Alright. Scan away. How many plants do you want? Oh, look at this guy. So cute. Oh. So, the Dreadnought is the one that I just came out of? Or the one with the turret sticking up? That is salt, very green. Man, there's a lot of grass here, but not um, but not a lot of sticking up plants that we can that we can scan. We're going over here to these cool purple plants. Uh, 
I like these. All right, what else can we scan? I don't even know how many plants I'm supposed to be scanning for this mission. Let's reset our mission and set it back again. Well, and I mean, for me personally, who doesn't know a lot of things, 09, it is helpful for me to know that they're different because I would be thinking about a sentinel as a literal sentinel freighter. And then that would confuse me. Okay, two. Now we're getting some. I did finally fight a Sentinel Freighter the other day. I gotta say, I wasn't really worth the reward. <laughs> all right, oh, 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 there's one. These trees all look the same to me, I gotta say. I lost count. This is a pretty nice... What place? Is this my planet? Oh. Alright, you guys. Let's not squabble. Oh, this tree looks like it has octopus suckers on it. Oh, something just speared me. I can scan that. Where's the thing that... Oh, yeah, these, we got two bad plants right here. Ooh! We'll scan them and then we'll shoot them. Just because. Down with you and down with you, nasty plant. And then we can scan this one. This one right here is, oh no, it's the feeding animals one. The feeding animals one, which is easy, is worth like cores, which are really good, which goes straight to nanites. So I can't believe they're giving us that. All right, let's see. What else? What else? Oh, I thought we just scanned that one, actually. What else can we get? How many do? Oh, I got, only got one more. Steel Dragon has 10,000 hours in this game. There's a few 10,000 hour people that hang around in here, that come by here and visit. A wealth of information. All right, I think that's our nine right there. Let's go get our word. And then we'll feed our animals. And that'll be all of our little missions we picked up. ASD, I don't even know what that is. This one. We gotta feed six animals. We can do that without a shade tree guru. <laughs> Everyone is a guru to me, I gotta say. I'm finally getting to where I know a couple things that, that other people don't know, but for the most part, yeah. I am willing to take, happy to take help from anyone. Because everyone knows more than I do. That looked like a box of plants to me. Well, I st yeah. That's all right. Okay, let's feed some guys here. Here, you want some food? Oh, I, I wonder if I have... I better make some food. So I can... I can actually... I don't... Hmm. Oh, look, I missed a bone, too. When I was selling my bones. All right, let's make a few more. Since I have to feed six animals. Okay, how about you? You want some food? There you go. Speaking of things that I don't know... Uh... I think my robot horse laid an egg. I got a message that I had an egg, and I was like, oh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that. And so I haven't, um, 
And so I haven't done anything with it. How about you? I wonder if they have to all be different varieties. That's three. I'm going to have to d activate this echolocator just so it'll stop going off. It'll stop telling me that. Oh, there's your critter over there. Look, it's like a giant crab. <laughs> no worries, dead parrot. You're also a great builder. It's really cool builds. You guys, if you weren't here when I was talking about it earlier, dead parrot as part of a group on a planet that built all these bases that look like campers. It's all camping things. So campers, tents, RVs. It's really interesting. Okay, that's it, man. I think that's all of our missions that we had that we just picked up. Let's see, what was this one? Yeah, I don't kill bad animals. I mean, I don't kill animals. And then... I kill bad animals. Okay, I think that's all the new ones. Awesome. Alright, let's get our ship over here and... I think I need like nine Corvax missions. I'm not sure what is walking around that's shaking the whole world. Some giant animal here. Maybe it's those crabby things. Look at that thing, man. That thing is so cool looking. I even fed it and I didn't really look at it. It's like a, whoops. It's like a crab dragon. Man, that thing is awesome. I don't think I've seen that critter before. I should have gotten a ride on him. Look at that thing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that thing was pretty cool. So our friend um, Suki Black that hangs out in here a lot, hopefully she's sleeping right now, um, used to, her job at one point in her life was designing cats and dogs for uh, that game Second Life. If you remember that game. How niche is that? So I always think about her when I see animals in games now, since I knew that. Ah! Splat. Turn in our missions. I gotta grind on the words a little bit. I've not I've got a lot of words left to go for that metric. Look at all those. Five hundred and forty-six thou. This I don't need because my suit's already maximally upgraded. That I'm gonna need, and that is an awesome prize. Alright, oh yay, pirates. Um Oh, that's funny. When you said ASD before, I wasn't making the connection. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> hey, Dan, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate you hanging out, and I hope that we see you again soon. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day, man, and a great rest of your week. All right, we could do... Uh, man, I hate to keep doing the same missions over and over, but, but Runaway Mold is a pretty good prize. We're definitely going to fight some dragons. I mean, some <laughs> some dragons. Some pirates, even though I don't need the storage. Oh, how many Viking missions do I need? I think I was looking at Corvax missions before. Let's see. Uh, oh, I need five. Okay, that's better than nine anyway. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, Viking. 
We'll definitely take on the pirates. No problem at all. And... I really like to take the ones where I want the uh, prize. I've already got one of these cooking. It's funny that it's a one predator. And when I stumble onto a predator, I'll... I will... Um, I will... Get double... I'll double dip. Alright, I think we gotta go to a different system after this one because I don't want to keep doing the same missions over and over. And I really... yeah, that's not interesting. Let's go do our pirates. Oops. Let's get it set to the pirate one. Cold vacuum. Whoops, let's set our let's set our hot all cores cooking. I know, right? Like I was so about that at the beginning when I first started playing this game, and then I got sort of bored with it and uh an S class for the scanner. I don't. I don't have all of any of them. Alright, where's my scanner? Oh, this is my... Wait, what am I doing? Spacing out here. Well... Alright, let's try to put that one in, and then if that overloads it, I'll take that A-class one out. The Atlas words. I don't know what that is. Technology overload. Oh, it's over here. It's these ones. All right. Uh, can we take this one out? Yeah, but they have... I mean, are those words different? Like, I finished the whole Atlas thing. And in fact, when I go in the Atlas station now, he's not in there anymore. Oh, it's these four. Well, I've already got all those, so... I haven't even been getting that anymore. Like, they're just not... Uh, that, none of that stuff is working now. I think because I... Well, I don't know why, but... Yeah, when I go in them now, he's not in there. That red ball isn't in there anymore. Alright. I forgot what I was doing. We're gonna go fight some pirates. Man, I'm gonna call my... Um, living ship in here for this mission. Is there anything in my starship that I need? No. Exosuit. Alright, we're gonna switch. Can I do that? I'm not sure I can do that here, actually, now that I'm saying that. I guess we're fighting with this ship. No worries. Let's see if he's all charged up. Yep, everything else looks good. Let's go! Yeah, I've jumped a lot of black holes getting to the center of, uh, when I was getting to the center of Euclid. Sometimes they were good, and sometimes they led me astray, so I'm not using them too much in Hilbert. I've done them a little bit in Hilbert, but... Come on, come on. They're kind of a mixed blessing. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a big job. Wow. I 
forgotten my whole pattern that I had worked out for uh, these ships once I started fighting with uh, living ship, and then I had to remember it again. <sighs> the living ship all modded up, fully upgraded, was such a good fighter, and it's really easy to fight with. Wow. I think Suki was telling me something like that about something like that she had done that was that had to do with I think space stations that sold different things so that when she was looking for something she could she could find it. Oh wow, Steel Dragon, dang. I still haven't convinced myself to run it the second time. I'm probably gonna like through inaction end up not because I just uh, I just am not getting to it. Maybe on Saturday on my next No Man's Sky stream, maybe that's what I should do. I mean, on Friday is run the expedition. I'll have to think about that. You know, I like to have something I'm doing instead of just kind of dinking around on my stream. So maybe that's what I should do. Do a second run at the expedition. I think didn't think Wicked say he'd run it like 15 times. I forgot what we're getting for this pirate mission here. What our prize is. Our, what's our reward? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's my pet. Is, uh, is one of those robot. It's a robot horse. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, okay, got that one. Predator extermination, which I don't want to do. This one... It's kind of boring, but we get runaway mold for it. Alright, so I guess we can just land anywhere we want for that. Let's see what kind of planet, wherever it is we are, it has. Oh, Paradise Planet. Well, that sounds like a good place to go feed some animals. So you guys, I found a list of all the glitches from the exotic planets, and I really am only missing one. I'm just missing the bubbles. That's the only one I still need. Yeah. And someone sent me a glyph to go, uh, a glyph address. I haven't ever seen one of that planet. Uh, and someone sent me a glyph address the, a couple days ago to go get one. So uh, I haven't gone there yet, but I'm going to do it. I have been to so many systems and so many planets and I haven't found one. So I feel like I'm not cheating if I, if I take the glyph and go. <laughs> That'll be the only one I haven't found on my own. I think. Steel Dragon, I don't think you gave me any of those. Uh, found any of those for me. I think that's the only one that I haven't gotten. All right. Paradise Planet here. <laughs> what is that one? Oh, paraffinium. I have two paraffinium mines. I don't need one of those. Okay, I'm supposed to be feeding animals here. Guess we gotta find an animal that's not flying. What is that? Oh, curious deposit. Let's go see what that is. You know that, uh, that creature that gives you the, um... Oh, it's runaway mold, you guys! <gasps> okay, we're gonna put a base here. I was just thinking that I did not have a runaway mold place. So we are gonna throw a base down right here. Several single glyph planets, really? That's so interesting. Um, I think Killjoy, not Killjoy Dan, but the other Killjoy, he sent me um, a glyph that was a, this planet that he was making helpful bases on. And um, and it was just the first two glyphs. 
Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Making a. I don't have one of these. I was really thinking that. Um, I was really thinking that there wasn't anything left that I needed to make a base for. But here we go. Now, you guys, I have seen people with these bases where they like build the base around the mold. But do you really need to contain it? Or does it roll away if you don't make your house around it? I'll have to look and see if that's the glyph he sent, the person sent me. 27 mold. But do you understand what I'm saying? Like, do I have to build a house around the mold? Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to just throw up some, some boards around this right quick here. I mean, it seems like not very sportsmanlike to. Oh, okay. All right, well, let me think what I want to do here. This will make one that'll overgrow. Uh, fence them in. But does that, will that preclude anyone else? I mean, like, I wouldn't want to be, I'd feel like bad, you know, if I was cheating someone else from getting something. This seems like a weird way to do this. I'm not sure this is the right way to do this. Oh, okay. Look, that one's in the floor. I might have to come back. i got to think about this a little bit. Maybe I should do... Um, maybe I should do, like, cuboid rooms or something. And then I can put them on those bases. Kill it first. You always say poke it first. Now I never know if it's the right thing. <laughs> oh, but won't they roll away? Like if I just do that, when I come back later, will they be back here again? In this exact same place? Oh, cool. All right. Awesome. Oh, oh, no, you're rolling away. Now I have to chase him down the hill. <laughs> that one's in the floor. He can't go anywhere. All right. I'm going to have to chase him down the hill. That's funny because this mission that we're on here to feed animals, is the prize is runaway mold. But the real prize is, of course, this. Move 750 units away and they respawn. Oh, okay. I'm going to I'm going to get them all rolling and then I'm going to go down there after them. Bye mold. You're making me run after you. No. I'd rather uh build a base down here and then roll them down the hill, but I guess they won't respawn down here. <laughs> I'll just know when I come to collect them, this is what I'll have to do. I'll have to just knock them off and then run down here and get them. Well, that'll be my next space for a cool base. I'm just going to put that platform there now, but I'll think about it and I'll come up with something else. Just, oh, that's so smart, of course, duh. All right, let me go back up there and put a wall. Stop their roll. I don't want to stop anyone's roll, man. That is very uncool. Uh, let's see. Where is the base? Where is my base? Now I lost it. Oh, up there. This really is a pretty planet. It'd be nice to have an excuse to build a build here. <laughs> stop someone's roll. Uh... I always feel a little funny about that. I don't know why, like taking someone else's things out of their base. I mean, I've been told that it doesn't do anything. 
a few refiners oh like what the heck are you cooking in these refiners like why would you need so many refiners but uh oh did i do that right now without the mold here i don't know i can't remember where they're gonna be i think they're gonna be right here and roll down into this i may have to refine this later all right let me see i never did get the medium refiner i only got the large refiner uh let me call my freighter over. Oh, and then it'll come back? Okay. I have to go feed some animals, so I'll come back after I do that, and then maybe they'll be back. All right, I need some sodium nitrate off my freighter. Well, I don't have very much sodium nitrate, do I? Mostly I have gobs and gobs of sodium. All right, let's see if that's enough. And I'll throw a large... Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to put this here for anyone to use. Does it need fuel, the big refiner? The only big refiner I have is uh, the one that's on my freighter. All right, there you go, you guys. That's my present to whoever comes around. A refiner and some mold. One point five billion nanites. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's use our own refiner. We have uh, farm colonies in the galactic hub where you can max your units in a day. Oh, my gosh, that is a lot. I mean, really, I get you guys that have played so much. It's just like a different thing to be able to do. So I get that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, but I'm going to come back. So that's her. I was going to say, man, now I'm going to have to, I'm going to wander off without those nanites. But a five-day glitch after an update. Oh, wow. All right, let's go feed our critters. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, look how cute it is. I haven't seen this animal before. All right, we're going to go feed him. It's like a ball of flour. A flower. It's like a flower. Not a ball of flour. <laughs> Here, hey, buddy. Hang on a minute. Hold on. I got some food for you. Here. Dude, do you have a mouth? All right, well, there you go. That is my gift to anyone that rolls over here. Look at this thing. Anyone that comes by here, they can they can help themselves. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So cute. Well, you know, um, the other Killjoy that I was talking about that I said he was making this, try asking people to make helpful bases... I didn't really know what he was talking about, but now that you're saying that, I guess that's what he's talking about. Uh, that kind of thing. I don't want your poo. Gross! And it's a huge poo also. I'm sorry, I'm not digging through that. I have enough poo of my own already. That's gross. I can't remember what was helpful about his base. I can't... 20 refiners, 4 nutrient processors, all the exocraft stations. Yeah, it was something like that that, that he did. Uh, I think that's really cool. Oh, is this a plant or is this an animal? That's a plant. You know, I, I don't mean to sound disingenuous when I say stuff like that, but Honestly, my 300 hours have mostly been played in places where there aren't any other people or other bases or anything. So I've only just recently started visiting other people's bases, you know, intentionally. And uh, it's like a whole different thing. As you saw earlier today, I don't play a lot of multiplayer, so I don't really know how that works. And yeah, I, the places where I've hung my hat in this game, I'm, there aren't usually any other bases there. That one temperate planet in um, Hilbert, there are a few a few um, other bases there, just because I think because Hilbert doesn't have that many planets. 
Hey, Dead Parrot, thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. I'm always happy to get a chance to hang out with you and chat. And thank you. I'm glad I got to show you the tips that I took from your trailer camp and put in my in my base. We'll see you again. Have a good evening. All right, I got to find... Oh, I got to find five more. Man, this is taking a lot of time. A lot more time than uh, at the other base. Oh, there's something right there. I mean, the other mission. There are a lot of really weird animals on this planet. I'm going to have earned my runaway mold. Hey, hey, you. Stop. Stop. I just want to feed you. I don't think he wants to be fed. Oh, come on. Oh, he stopped. There. Look at him. Ew, he's kind of gross, really. I don't really like that animal too much. All right. Where's some more? Gravitino. Oh, floating crystals are pretty cool. These look like corn dogs, these plants. And there's a lot of good resources on this planet. We'll have to think of a good name for it. I think I discovered this planet, so I would have naming rights. I need to add a channel, one of those channel point things where you can name a planet. <laughs> Almost every No Man Sky streamer I know has a has that, and I don't have it. Or have a you know have a base named after you. Lucas does that. He he does these amazing bases, and he throws them up really quickly, and uh, and he puts people's names on them. I don't know if I would like that, but but the planet naming's kind of fun if it isn't inappropriate. Clearly, we don't have a sentinel problem on this planet. Okay. Oh, I can offer him again and get yeah double dip there. Let me go find those other guys. I should have thought of that, the one that pooed that I didn't want to mess with. I should have just waited around and fed him again. All right, where's another animal? There they are over here. Oh, up here's this guy again. I like this guy. He's cute. He's like a potato bug. All right, where's that other one? Where'd that big bouncy guy go? Oh, man. Let me see. Is this a planet I discovered? Yep, I did. Cool. All right, so I'll have to think of a, a name. I, don't, I think I've only ever renamed one planet so far. I don't think that guy's going too fast. I won't be able to feed him. All right. I was thinking there was a guy right over here. Oh, there he is down there. Maybe those are underground. Oh, there he is right there. Another one of these little weirdos. Okay, is that... Is that not enough yet? Dang it. All right. Oh, there's that big guy over there. We'll go feed him. Maybe that'll be enough. And then we can check and see if our mold came back. And pick up our nanites. I'm very excited about that, I have to say. Oh, no, I'm out of pellets. Oh, don't, don't jump away, bud. Don't jump away. That's it. Seven of seven. See you later. All right, let's go check our mold farm and see if it re respawned the mold. So I can check my retaining wall. And pick up my nanites. Wow, thank you. Find a mission. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, look. New. New ones. 
So we'll shoot these and we'll see if they fall in the retaining wall. We'll see if that uh, catches them. And there should be one that's in the floor. Nope. I don't know where he went. Maybe he's underneath. Nope. He just had the good sense to go somewhere else. All right, let's go. Ah, ha, ha, perfect. Okay, we're not going to do anything too good here. We're going to keep this retaining wall. If we build another base, we'll build it sort of adjacent. Because this is perfect. All right, we're not going to start cooking the new ones in this because I don't want to hang around on this planet. That is very cool. I'm very happy about that. All right, let's see. What was this one? Predator exterminator. Yeah, I just keep these in case I run into any uh, mean animals. Protect the vulnerable. That's another one. Also one predator. I think we're going to jump to a different system to turn these in. So we'll have different. We'll have different missions to run. I don't want to keep running the same missions. Although that one was clearly very profitable since we found the mold. Yep. See, what am I doing? Dang it. Call your ship over here like a regular person. I'm always running for my ship instead of calling it to me. I should scan these because they're so funny looking. These corn dogs. Oh, maybe you can't. That's not a scannable plant. All right, cool. Now I have two places where I want to build a base. That's another problem I always have. In addition to thinking up a... Uh, Maruski, I found a mold farm. And I did not name it Balls, let me just say. <laughs> let me just clear that up with you. Maruski told me everyone has a farm called Balls, but I said I would not name my farm Balls, and I didn't. I named it Very Boring Mold Farm. But I'm very excited about it nonetheless. Oh, cool. So now I have two spots where I want to build a base. And one of my things is, in addition to thinking up an idea for a base, is they are balls. They're runaway mold balls. Um, is where am I going to build one that actually has something that I care about? And now I have two places that I want to build a base that has a reason, that I have a reason to go there. So that mold farm and the um, gold, the gold mine place. Now I just have to come up with some design ideas. So did you get your dinner together, Maruski? Oh, this is another Viking. Oh, this is a pirate one. Oh, uh, I don't know if we can turn our missions in at the pirate station. Hmm, what are their two planets? Rainy planet. It must be a moon, because there's clearly three on this, at least three on this map. All done eating and dishes put away. What a good girl. I was laughing this afternoon, you guys. I um, went out and pruned the basil. And then I came in and made a quick um, batch of basil pesto, which is delicious. But I was laughing because it took me longer to clean up after than it took to make the pesto. I like to do pirate missions. Let's, um, let's fly in there and see if there's any fun missions. We don't have that much time left. I mean, I was watching um, Suki's stream while I was doing it, and oh my gosh, it seemed like it took forever. It made such a big mess. But it is delicious. I made it while I was watching Suki stream, and I snacked on it while I was watching Maruski stream. So there you go. <laughs> my whole day is about Twitch, watching streams and streaming. All right, let's find some cool pirate missions that give good rewards like freighter, like frigate fuel. That's what I really need. That is pretty delicious. 
It was. It did come out really well. All right, Viking. These Vikings are the only ones that really seem like pirates to me. It's always funny to go to a, like, Corvax pirate. Oh, you can hand in your missions to them. I didn't know you could. Okay, cool, cool. All right, let's see. Gragra, I don't even know what that is. I don't like to raid a capital ship. I bet this is one of the weird things I don't have. Because I haven't seen Gragra. I think teleport coordinators is a trade good. First spawn relic. I'm not really interested in any of this stuff. Oh, and it's all trade uh, uh It's all trader. I don't like to do those. I like to hunt pirates. I don't like to be a pirate. Hmm. Um, you guys, give me 30 seconds. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I just realized I haven't even gotten up since I started streaming. I will be right back. Sorry about that. I was actually going to run an ad so that we would have one less ad break, but then I forgot. Uh, okay. Well, first spawn relics are of value. I think you just sell them. You know what? I don't want to do any of these missions. Let's go to a different station because what I really need to do is like Viking missions or, you know, race missions, because that's what I'm actually working on is my, um, are those metrics. All right, let's go to a different station. A not pirate station. I should have noticed that was a pirate station. If they'd have had some frigate fuel, I probably would have gone for it. I was noticing the other day, you know those, um, like the, the list that's all the components, like regular ones and rare ones and all that. There's a couple that I'm missing, and I bet Gragra is one of them, because I have not. I've seen that before, but I haven't ever acquired it. All right, but I just landed in a no, a no space station galaxy, uh, or solar system. That would figure, wouldn't it? <laughs> Come on, I just want some missions. There's no solar, there's no space station here. Good grief. I cannot win. That is all I am trying to do. Oh, wait, did that say that was a dissonant system? Did we see a dissonant planet? Because, you know, I'm also looking for, um, like, I'm trying to warp back there. I'm also looking for this particular Sentinel ship, and I haven't been able to find it. But, oh, do I have a thing? Do I have a, uh, uh, whatever that thing is called? I do. I have one left. Did we see it? Let me get my freighter over here so I can scan the get the solar system. 
Wouldn't it be awesome if I could find that sentinel ship I'm looking for on stream? That would be pretty cool. Or even a sentinel ship I like. I don't have a sentinel ship in my fleet. Mostly because I can't find one I like. Except the one I did find that I liked was had so many people's stuff around it that I couldn't... You couldn't pick it up anymore. Because people had built bases and... Uh, and... Um, save beacons and all that kind of stuff and you couldn't get it it was gorgeous i was very unhappy that's what i think about when i'm talking about like walling up the mold and all that like i think about stuff like that and i don't want to be that person that does that but it sounds like this doesn't count okay it's that planet right there otrina all right let's go look Clearly, I need to clear my frigates, but I don't want to do that right now. Get them sent back out on their way. Making me more money and bringing me stuff. Yeah, it would be so cool if I could find a sentinel ship that I like. Even if it isn't the specific one I'm looking for. If I could find one I like, that would be awesome. Can I fire that thing off from space, Steel Dragon, and it'll show me which planet? Or do I have to actually be on the planet? Oh, okay, that's good to know. I might go back and do that. I think I still have the glyph for that that ship. I was, it was so pretty. I was so unhappy. So if I fire my um, this thing off, can I fire it off from space? Or do I have to be down on the planet to do it? for that to work. I think I gotta go around the other side of this planet. Whoops. I thought about that, reporting them, and then I waffled and I didn't do it. Oh, Trina, it was called. Oh, it's that one. All right, let's go. Life Incompatible Planet. It's got the ancient bones, but after that mission that we just did, Maruski, I don't want to dig any more bones, frankly. <laughs> Although it worked out all right, it was a little tra a little traumatizing, you know, when I couldn't jump up the hill. I'm not feeling that kindly towards old bones at the moment. I quickly sold all my old bones. Oh, there's some condensed carbon. Oh no, that's um, Atlantididium. It looked like condensed. I know, exactly! Isn't that so crazy? That's exactly right. I was like, oh, we can knock this one out in no time. And then uh, it turned out to be a nightmare. Oh, let me see how much Atlantididium I have in my pocket. Make sure I'm prepared. Oh, I might not have any. Let me get my freighter over here. Okay. I actually have... I've seen that, and I just haven't... Yeah, I just hadn't done it, but I think I should do it for that one. Because that really... It, was, it really made me very unhappy, I'm not going to lie. I really wanted the ship. All right, now we don't have to get our 77 Atlantididium. All right, let's fire off our thing and find our ship. Oh, in a nearby system. How come it isn't on this planet? I thought if it was... Um, I thought if I thought it was there was always one on a dissonant planet. That's weird. All right, that's fine. We don't care. Let me just get this condensed carbon without destroying my ship. In the meantime, nope, can't do it. Oh. It says no, you're going to kill your ship. Just leave it alone. I landed right on top of it.
I love when the salt when the sails pop out. Boop. So cool. All right, let's see. Where is this sentinel ship? There it is over there. Fingers crossed. Ruski, I was watching um, Zoe Murphy's, uh, I mean, Zoe Monroe's No Man's Sky stream yesterday, and she found one of those ships like you have that you call your crib, and I was telling her about how you fight, you fight from the back of yours. She thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> and she loved the name, too. Zoe's another really good base builder, you guys. If you're a No Man's Sky person and you like base building, she does amazing base. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna come up here or maybe not I don't know oh I was actually gonna look around for it but ah uh, don't crash don't crash don't crash ah crashed all right we're just gonna get out I kind of lost my train of thought oh look at these cool dragons on this one this is a cool looking planet Let's see what this planet is about. Vapor planet, warm fog, the sentinels answer to none. All right, where is it? That way. 443. I wonder if I have, let's see if I have radiant shards too. Well, it'll tell me what I need. That's one thing at least about these. They do kind of hold you by the hand. Dang it, I knew I needed to be out from under this big thing here. I don't think I'm going to be able to skim up it like I... Oh, well, I guess we'll pick these up while we're at it. Not too exciting. Okay, what is the situation here with this big hill? Man, what a place to land. Good grief. This is like my nightmares. I keep getting these big rocks. <laughs> first in the first in the uh, Nexus mission with Maruski, and now this. The game is toying with me. Oh, I wonder if it's up on top of that thing. Oh, look at that thing. All right. I think we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to fly over that. Hey, buddy big ball or whatever you are look at that thing it's huge and I knew my instinct that we needed to fly up there was correct I would land right underneath it of all the places I could have landed <laughs> figures. And look, I'm right next to this tree. Alright, let's spin it around. Get a bead on that thing. 
that I was just landed underneath. And let's look for it. I think it was like 400 this way, which would put it up here on this. Whoops, I wonder if it's down here on this side. I think I'm up on top right now, but I'd rather jump down than jump up. Okay. What a weird place. All right, now it's 200 that way. I should have kept looking for it with my ship. I don't know why I didn't. They're pretty easy to spot. I'll go to all this trouble and then I'll be like, yeah, I don't want that ship. There it is right there. It's not the one I'm looking for, but let's go down and see what it looks like. I love these big tree things on this planet. So cool. Whoops, ouch. I know, I know, I saw it. It's right behind me. Pure ferrite. All right. I don't know. Let's look at it. It's kind of cool. Look, it's black. I would rather have white, but black is cool. And it's got those pointy back things. What do we think? called fire this one's pretty neat looking I might have to take this one I've been looking for a long time and I don't have a single one and then if I find a sentinel ship later the one I'm looking for I can always get rid of one I think we're gonna take this one you guys all right let's go talk to our little hand here Thank you for the runaway mold. This is like a runaway mold bonanza today. So we need the brain and we'll need an inverted mirror. Oh, I, I think I like it more every minute. It's not at all what I had in mind, but I think it's very cool. Pugnium. The brain. Okay. You want an inverted mirror, radiant shard, harmonic brain. All right. Let me see if I have any of those things in my ship before I go running around. No, not you. Not you. I might have um, radiant shard. Let's see. Yep, there's Radiant Shard. What did I need? Three? Oh, oh perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to drop me with four. Okay, and then let me see if I happen to have an inverted mirror. It's not impossible that I might have one. I don't remember what they look like. Mm, 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 mm. What's this thing? No, I don't think I have one. I probably sold it if I had one before. All right, cool. So you can have our radiant shards. Oh, I can't do that. All right, inverted mirror. All right. Doesn't this game usually tell you where you have to go. Oh, there it is. There they are. All right, let me get my shooter out. Let's go. Whoops. Don't do that. Just run. So you guys see me shoot a lot when I'm trying to run fast in this game because in Assassin's Creed, the run fast button is the same as the shooting button in this game. So since I'm going back and forth in those games, uh, I'm getting confused about the controls. 
Oh, I don't want to shoot that little ball guy. I hope he gets out of the way before we get over there. We're coming for you. We are coming for you. Go down. All right, got the inverted mirror. They're hunting. Run, run, run. You're not running fast enough. I think we're safe. All right, now we got to do the brain. Nice of them to put those inverted mirror right there. fire we are going to save you all right the brain rejects control of the outside enemy blah blah locate the brain in the inventory and probe its subconscious probe Let us go. Where is the hand of splendor? Come down here, hand. I have no excuse for that one. We are going to get this done, and I'm going to have my first owned Sentinel ship. I've salvaged a lot of Sentinel ships. At the beginning of when I first started playing this game, it was definitely one of the ways I built up my cash. But I've never kept one, and so this will be my first one. We'll see if I like it once it's all flying and everything. See how I like the way it looks in flight. the brain. I almost drop it. It gets really hot. <laughs> Seek and eliminate anomalies and mesh archival sentience with surrogate entity. Here, have the brain. He always almost drops it. The brain accepts my presence. Yay, harmonic brain. Now we return to our sentinel ship. It'll be our it'll be our opposite with the with the hand of splendor here that's all white and gold and then fire will be all black and red. I like that. Whoops, 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 whoops. Get out of there. I don't really need to go up. I think we can get there fast enough. Maybe, maybe. It's right down the hill there. Ugh. Ugh. And we'll see what we need to repair. Oh, 
Okay, fire. Here you go. Wow, look at all the slots. It's B class, so not an S class, but uh, we're going to take it. We're just going to take it. No, I just want to claim it. I'm not swapping. I'm not leaving my hand of splendor for anybody. All right, just checking it out. Wait, why won't you let me in? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't remember how to switch the view when you're flying. I want to... Um, oh, it's so quiet. I want to see what it looks like in flight. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, it's awesome. I like it a lot. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, you. I, I know you've heard my friend Maruski all the time say, F, hit your F, hit your whatever. I was like, yeah, I don't have that. I like my ship. It's very awesome. Kind of those red things sticking out of the back look like AA batteries, but, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's very quiet. Oh, and I, now I finally have the hover. So nothing is broken in this one, huh? Man, I love it too. What can I charge it up with? I gotta get some stuff out of my freighter to get it going. But we're gonna go park it. Thank you, PR Rob. I appreciate that vote of confidence. Look at all my frigates hovering around. <laughs> They're like, would you please debrief us? Send us back out. Oh, I like it a lot. It's very cool. It doesn't look anything like the one I was, the white one that I couldn't get or the one I've been seeking. But I like it a lot. It looks very cool in flight. All right, I'm not used to doing this in third person. I'll tell you a funny story. So Maruski one time was telling me when I was fighting, always in third person, pirates, she was suggesting to me that I try it in first person. And I tried it and I didn't like it. And I said, yeah, I got my old system worked out. I don't need to do that. And then at some point, I switched to first person and now I can barely do it in third person. In fact, as you could just see, I couldn't remember how to switch back. Well, it definitely looks a lot better in the air than it looks parked, but it's pretty stinking cool. All right. Yay, I got a new ship. A Sentinel ship, finally. All right, you guys, that was awesome. And we are right on time. Let me see if there's anyone on that we want to raid over to. And I want to especially thank you guys for staying with me while Maruski and I were fumbling around with our multiplayer. We are definitely going to get better at that. Uh, I do like the idea of having a multiplayer stream. Maybe I can play with some of you guys sometime too. Let's see. Oh, ha! Huh. So, we're not going to raid over to her, but Zoe Monroe is playing right now. Uh, in fact, let me give her a shout-out so you'll have her address at least. Uh, she is a... Because she's playing Stardew Valley. That's why we're not going to um, raid over to her. But... She... Um, wait, what? I must have spelled it wrong. Hang on one second. M-U-N-R-O-E... She plays a lot of No Man's Sky, and she's a fantastic builder. She really just builds the most imaginative bases. So uh, give her a follow and go check her out when she's playing um, No Man's Sky. All right, let's see. Dinkle's playing Surviving Mars. I know we raid him pretty often. I know, that's so weird, Steel Dragon, that you could do it, and Lucas couldn't do it either. Remember, he tried to come in also and he couldn't come in uh so i don't know we'll have to figure that out 
Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go raid over to Deco. We raid him fairly often, but he's playing Surviving Mars, and I want to see him play. I've seen Sky Storm play it, but I've never seen anyone else play it. So let's jump over there. Deco is an awesome guy. He's a big supporter of this stream. Uh, so I don't mind to raid him a lot. I hope you guys like him and give him a follow, those of you who haven't raided over to him before. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll be on at 7.30 a.m. Central tomorrow with Limbo and then at 4 p.m. tomorrow with, uh, no Man with um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. My next No Man's Sky Day will be Friday afternoon. Here we go, everybody. Let's say hi to Daco. Bye.